Today's a good day. Copper has arrived. And here we go. So the 38 mil tube that's going to make the barrel. There we go. The 15 mil tube for the flue and the copper for the ends. So a couple of things. We, we can start by cutting this tube to length or we look at the drawing making the former. Now, I have got the right thickness uh, copper for the ends. The tube is the right gauge as per drawing, 16 gauge and one and a half mil, which is basically 16 gauge. So you can see that I'm not gonna cut it to a circle first. I'm gonna cut a square of copper out, beat it over the former, chuck it in the lathe and sort the back out and tidy the back up. And then we'll bore the hole in it for the tube. We'll drill the hole in it for the tube, whichever it may be. So first thing we need a former. Now, rummaging through the metal pile on the floor, we found this beastie, which, knowing where this came from, Dad's workshop, probably an old prop shaft, is a hinky bit of steel that zeroed. Just happens to be uh, basically 32 mil. So I'm gonna whack that in the bandsaw Hack a, a couple of inches off, and that's my former. So then I can literally stick that in the vise um, and beat the beat the plates over it. Right, so we've done one. Let's take you through how we did it. it. Didn't take too long actually, quite a bit of a kneeling, but it didn't take too long. So here's our uh, prop shaft former, that happened to be the right size. Here's our bit of copper. So we'll put that on there with this randomly sized but good lump of steel. And clamp it to it, making sure it's kind of evenly spaced. And then just get to work. Holding on to the to the uh, clamp to stop the whole thing moving in the vise, because it's only on two little pinch points. Rotate it, damp it.
and there we go. Uh, so that is both tube plates and the tube in the barrel. All that's left to do are the bushes, of which we need four. So, in the same style as earlier, this end is soldered up. From initial inspection, it looks like there's enough solder penetration. It looks like, I mean, there's only one iffy looking spot, which is right here, but I think it's in there. I think there is actually solder in there. So, the uh, bushes are in there. The only iffy spot is on this one here, but then we've got this end to do here. Right, you'll notice I did this in the wrong order. I was an idiot. You didn't see this because also I'm an idiot and forgot to hit record. I soldered the tube plate on. Tube plate? We've got a tube, got a tube plate. Before I tried to insert it in the boiler. Uh, and then it wouldn't go past the bushes. What I should have done, we soldered this end in first. <laughs> Bear in mind, its position is pretty fixed up against that bush. And then just poke the tube all the way through and done this joint last. But as it is, this joint is last around the outside. 
So I'll do it the same way I've been doing all the other joints. You saw me do, you saw me do this joint here. This joint here was done the same. These are all done the same as well. A little ring around the outside, and just heated up till it flowed. This one flowed a little bit too well, uh, but we'll do the same with this one here. So this ring will go in there. It will go in there. I just haven't got enough hands. Um, and then we'll just get it up till it flows into the joint. Or should it be fluxed? Something like that. Flux it, put that in, and just get it up till it flows in. So this is just the flux in the pot. I imagine we're going to go a bit of music here because there's a lot of idiots on bikes. I think that's got it. <laughs> right, this is the third take of recording this end. Uh, it's a beautiful day, so I've moved outside for it. Um, here we have one completed boiler. With the, like, all the fittings, all the um, bushes in it. So uh, join me next time, next time or soonish. Uh, as we take it for testing. We're getting there. First boiler done. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? So, uh, thanks for following that. I know the bit went weird in the middle. And uh, I did see things on that gas. But anyway, we learn from these mistakes. Mistakes are all fun. So next time, we'll start testing it. Which means I need to make some plugs. I need to dunk it in water and see where the bubbles come from because they will, it's the first one I've done, and then we can go and get it hydraulic. This is all good stuff, this is all first for me. I've probably done a lot of stuff you're telling me I've done wrong, so please tell me down below and we can learn from it when we go for take two and for Northumbrians. It will be the next video, see? But it will be one of the next videos, you see. Right, see you later.